Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Faustina and today I'm reviewing Kenya's first Netflix original titled Country Queen. Okay guys, it's 10 minutes, let's get it together. Let's make a break. Country Queen is the story of a young woman named Akisa living in Nairobi. Now Akisa one day gets a call from her people at home saying that her father is ill and about to die. Now Akisa decides to return home after 10 years. She returns to her village in Silanga to not only confront her past but to also challenge a mining company called Ikorok that threatens to destroy her home and everything that she has ever known. We are here to send a message. Corruption has plagued this economy. To clean business. This is what our company has been reduced to. Children exploited for profit under the stewardship of my stepmother. If Vivian finds out this is your family dad, she will do everything in her power to prove it doesn't belong to you. Why do you want to fight for a place that's fighting you? Country Queen is six episodes long and the central theme of this entire series is economic exploitation and child labor. And I am really, really happy that for Kenya's first Netflix original series, they decided to go with this story that is really original and indigenous to them. Like, Kenya has gold and in the rural areas where this gold is, child labor is really, really prevalent. So this movie is sort of like an awareness about what is happening. This series has a great storyline, good story structure, many interrelated subplots around family, love, romance, betrayal, political power play that makes it really, really interesting to watch. We have to fulfill your father's wishes. You took everything away from me. As a father, I did what was best. You needed a future. But it was my baby. It was mine. I can't do this anymore, Max. I'm tired of being your spare. You should probably go home to Mrs. Sibala, your wife. I'm sure she's wondering where her husband is. Get rid of her. Tuangwa Silanga, tunafaku act sahi. No, go Messia. Messia nasito. No, go ya, malito. Mina ikoro, mina ikoro. My major challenge with it, however, is that it is really, really, really slow paced very slow pace that it sort of gets boring to watch you have to really be into the story and really interested in what you're watching for you to continue i wish it was more fast paced actually for the sake of this review i will not mention the names of any of the actors because i don't know how to pronounce kenya names so i'll rather let the names be but when you watch this series you'll see that the lead female protagonist is akisa and the lead female um, antagonist is Vivian. Now the lead male protagonist also is Chalo, and the lead male antagonist is Max. So you find out more about all the other characters in the series when you watch the series. This series has four languages in it. There's English, there's um, Kambe, there's Swahili, which is spoken more, and um, then there's Mandarin. Yes, Mandarin, just very very few Mandarin English there. You have to read a lot of subtitles if you're not um, Kenyan to understand what is being said and I struggled with that a little bit. I enjoyed the series all the way. So I highly recommend um, Country Queen streaming right now on Netflix. This Kenya's first Netflix original. I think it's a really really good watch. Yeah, I think it's a good watch and I'm really expecting to see season 2. I pray it is more fast paced than season 1 is and yeah, when you see the series, I want to know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts in the comment box. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe also and share this video with your friends. So, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! -bye.